It's your boy Big Sax Rosingas, episode four. And the last episode, uh, we ended it with some trade talks. We didn't know if we were gonna trade Roberson or Schroeder and Adams to the Hawks, whatever. All I know is for this episode, somebody has to go. I don't know who it's gonna be, where they're gonna go, but I just know we have to get rid of somebody. We're about a month or so in. Uh, I kind of want to do a little bit more simming before we start some trades. Maybe let's try to sim through December really quick. Should we try to? Yeah, let's try to sim through the December really, really quick. Hope nobody gets trade. I mean, nobody gets hurt. Again, we're still going to ignore this um, until we put the draft class in. I need about another day or so to work with the draft class. It says the Thunder received the 2021 first round pick, top three protected from the Timberwolves. For Kiata Bates Diab for Nerlens Noel, they think I'm dumb. Nerlens Noel is playing at a um, defensive All NBA All Defensive Team slash Defensive Player of the Year level, so I'm good. We're going to keep him. Um, Nerlens Noel is probably going to get a new contract from us just because of the way he's playing. Um, now they're just trying to get Diab out. We, we're cool, Timberwolves. We cool. We, we want to work with what we have. Um, actually, Diab might be something decent. We might have to look into him. We're winning games for some reason, too. We're, like, turning around our team. Uh, Jalen Bronson, Tim Hardaway Jr. for Steven Adams and Abdul Nader. Hmm. I don't know. If, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Mavericks. I'm, I'm okay. I am okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nerlens Noel is playing such great basketball. Just got hurt. Um, shouldn't be that long though. Hopefully he'll be back in like a week. Uh, Justin Patton now gets him some minutes to try to come in and, and make a make an impression on our team. That was that was not planned at all, of course. But anyway, um, yeah, we're eight and fifteen now. We're a lot. We we winning games for whatever reason. The chemistry is. It's still only a 62. I don't know where this, this winning is coming from. We're going to review the box scores of these games um, like we did last time. So no worries. We're going to see. Hopefully that means Wiggins is shooting efficiently. That means Ferguson is knocking down some threes. The Bulls would never trade Otto Porter for Schroeder. They just wouldn't. So I don't, I'm don't. i kind of getting irritated that they keep asking and proposing this trade to me. Because we all know, everybody who's watching this show or series knows the Bulls wouldn't do that. They just drafted Kobe White with the seven overall pick. So I'm pretty sure they won't try to get Schroeder. We're winning games. We're five games below 500 now. I'm kind of, um, we're going to let Steven Adams play hurt. We, we need him to play. Nerlens Noel is back healthy. Um, let's see what Justin Patton was doing while he was getting his opportunity. He was hooping. He was hooping. 16 and 9, 16 and 3, two blocks, two blocks, one block, eight of 12. He was hooping, bro. 10 and 5, 9, 10, 2, another block. He was hooping. Justin Patton say he ready to hoop. What's the season average now? His season average in a couple of those games is 7 points, almost 5 rebounds, almost 1 block. He say he ready. Okay, so that makes me feel good about trading Steven Adams. Um... In the near future, because that means Nerlens Noel, who I'm proud of, he's having a real good season. Um, one second, I gotta take these minutes. That means Justin Justin Patton is gonna now take Nerlens Noel spot because Nerlens Noel is gonna take Stephen Adams spot when he gets moved. So I'm real proud to see that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're a couple of days away from from being two months in, and we we winning games. I didn't expect for us to start going into this direction because we were losing so much. Steven Adams is healed. Uh, we just beat the Clippers. What the? Like, this is 2K for you. This is 2K. They're trying to give us... Oh, these are now trades that don't involve us. I, I forgot I was allowing trades to happen for CPU. I have to approve the trades just so they're realistic. Just like they're trying to give a first-round pick for Emil Jefferson. I, I just don't see that. I don't see the Rockets giving up a first-round pick for Ken Burke and Emil. I don't, I don't see that. Um... No, so no, I can't approve that. We beat okay, and then so we beat the we beat the Clippers by twelve, and then we lose uh, by twenty to the Hornets. Okay, now we losing games. Good game against the uh, Raptors, though. But we lost. 
and then we lost to the, the Mavericks. So some of these wins I, I need to see, like against the Clippers, what, what did we do? Okay, we just had a bunch of guys coming to hoop. Darius Baisley, 15, 5, 5, 1 steal, 4 turnovers. I'll ignore the turnovers just because I'm just so happy to see this type of stat line from him. This is exactly what we're trying to get and what we're trying to do. Shea gave us 18, 3, and 9, 1 steal, 1 block, 2 turnovers, 8 for 15 from the field. Um, Terrence Ferguson gave us 17 points, 12 shots, 7 of them were threes, only 2 of 7 from 3. His 3 point percentage is going to be stupid, stupid low. Did get to the line to make all of them. Wiggins didn't get to the line, shot even 17 from the field, 2 turnovers. Ferguson had three turnovers as well. I don't know what they're doing. And Nerlin Noel's had three. Um, Wiggins, 16 points. Took more shots than points he had. That's always wild to me. Uh, Schroeder gave us 10, 3, and 6. Get your value up. Robeson gave us 9, 6, and a block. Get your value up. And he was one for one from three. Get your value up. And then four steals for Noel and one block. Nerlin's Noel is hooping. He is playing at a defensive player of the year type rate. And then Adams gives us 6 and 15. Diallo gives us 2, 2, 1. Um, real good game against the Grizzlies. Wiggins gave us 32 points on 23 shots, three or seven from three. Um, Shea gave us 26 and six. Shea has been very, very good. He's been our bright guy. Um, four of nine from three, nine of his, th uh, 11 of his shots for nine of his 11 shots for threes. Darius Baisley, 12, eight, three, one steal, no turnovers, no turnovers. 50% from the field, 2 of 3 from 3, 2 free throws. Very, very excellent. Adams only gave us 4 and 8. Nerlens Noel gave us 0, 16, 1, 1, 1. Good. Um, but yes, yes, our young guys are hooping. Our top four contributors in this game were all of our young guys. This is very good to see. Uh, who else did we have an impressive win over or anything? We beat, what, the, the plays is by 3. Um, Lilla gave them 31 and 10. 20, okay, so they played real good, but we just played better. Um, you know, there's Noel 14, 15, two blocks, uh, and a steal, two turnovers. Uh, Baisley 6, 3, 3, 3, one turnover, real good. Wiggins 18 points on 24 shots, 4, 15 from three. Why is he shooting 15 3? That's like a Ferguson type thing. Ferguson 0 from 9 from three. We got the win though. Shout out to Shea, he's been real consistent. Um, Timberwolves, Wiggins gave us 28 against his old team. Real good to see. Two for eight for three. Shooting a three a lot. Adams only gave us four rebounds, but at 23 points. Shea gave us 16, 5, 7. Four turnovers. Cut down on the turnover, Shea. Uh, seven three-point attempts out of his 10 shots. We made five. That's what you need to do, Ferguson. And then, Baisley gave us nine, six, and four. Baisley is fucking hooping. And then Schroeder, eight, four. Nerlens Noel, four, five, two, one, one. Yes, 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 y'all. This is how we should be playing basketball. Pacers is a good team out east. Shea, 25-3-2. Two. two turnovers. Only two assists. He need to get more of that because when he not assisting, okay, T gave us four off the bench. Uh, Wiggins, 17 points on 12 shots. Good. With nine rebounds. Good, Wiggins. Only two threes. Very, very, very good. Baisley came out shooting. He had 14 attempts. 11 points, two rebounds, one assist, two steals, only one turnover. Good. One or two from the three. You got to get to the free throw line. Wiggins, you can't even miss in three attempts. Uh, Nerlens Noel gave us two blocks of steal, 14 rebounds, nine points. Very, very good. Only one turnover. Uh, Adam, seven and 12. Four turnovers. These big men are turning the ball over. And then Terrence Ferguson, 0 of 11 from the field, 0 of 10 from three, then two for four from the free throw line. Golly. Come on, Ferg. I need I need you to make some threes, Ferg. The Kings are a good team that we beat. Wiggins gave us 22 points on 22 shots, 10 three-point attempts, five rebounds, two assists, one turnover. Shea only had one turnover with 16 points and six assists, four rebounds, real good, 7-13 from the field. T came out in hoop, 6-7 from the field. He has a lot of games. We only missed like one shot. It doesn't miss a shot at all. 5-13 for the field, eight of his 13 shots for threes. He made three of them, didn't get to the free throw line. And he had a turnover with no assist. Adams with a double double. Justin Patton, Justin Patton, 9 10. That's when he came in for Nolan's Noel. Baisley, 4 2 4. Two turnovers, 2 for 5 from the field. Um, we were playing good, good basketball. Good basketball. Let's see how he played in this loss. Wiggins had 38. That's exact. Okay, let's, let's just look at his game log. So we'll just know. Let's just look at some guys' game logs. So 30, 38, 31. 11 then he bounced to 32 so wiggins is hooping 36 yes 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 28 yes 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 this is what i want to see 31 against the lakers okay so wiggins been hooping wiggins has been hooping it is not 
straight it's not straight consistent but it's not inconsistent either he's having two back-to-back 30 point games almost a 40 point game um his highest assist oh, i can't sort it out his highest assist has been four this season oh he had an eight assist game against the lakers 19 8 and 3 with only two turnovers that's real good wigs that's real good that's real good that scoring output is what we need so what is he averaging for the season uh, probably back to being a 20 point score, right? Yep, 20 points, four rebounds, two assists. He's shooting 30% from three, 73% from the free throw line. Um, same same field goal percentage as last year's. So yeah, back to being a 20 point score. We just gotta get it up a little bit more. Shea's recent games has looked like what? 19 and six, 21 and six, 11 and five, 26 and six. Turnovers, we got to cut down a little bit more, but he's been assisting. Third, uh, 18 and 9. Okay. He had a 26 and 11 game against Denver. We played Denver real well, huh? 25 and 2, 28 and 4, 22. So Shea is hooping as well. Shea season averages right now is looking like 18, 5, 2, almost a steal. He's shooting 36% from 3, 47% from the field, which is real good. And then shooting 85% from the free throw line, which is why he has to get to the free throw line more. Ferguson has given us his highest amount of his career, 13 points, two assists, one rebound. He's shooting 30% from three, less than 70% from, less than 65% from the field goal. I mean, from the free throw line and under 40% from field goal. So he has to improve. Darius Baisley is giving us seven, four, and two. Real, real solid. Only one turnover, 35% from three, over 70% from the free throw line and 42% from the field. New Orleans Noel is giving a 7, 8, a steal, and a block. 55% from the field. He's hooping. And then Steven Adams is doing what? 11 and 12 with a block and a steal with 65% from the field. So we got some guys hooping. Diallo probably ain't really doing shit, of course. Um, now it's straight time. Who are we going to get rid of now? So now what I want to do is just look at the standings. Um, across the league, the Lakers are number one in the West. The Nuggets are number two. Rockets three. Minnesota is who I told y'all that trade got Minnesota hooping. That trade got Minnesota hooping, man. They really, really hooping. So they're 23 and nine, sitting fourth. Um, the Jazz are fifth. The Suns are sixth. Golden State is seventh. And then the Clippers must have injuries. They don't. I don't know why they they. Then they wouldn't sign Darren, Darren Collison. I have to take his uh, rating down. I took everybody else's everybody else's rating down. Miritich, uh, Tyreek Evans. I, I must have forgot about him. I must have didn't see him because he must have got signed. But the Blazers are out of the playoffs. The Spurs are out of the playoffs. We're damn near better than Spurs. And then the Mavericks are just atrocious at 9 and 24. Is Chris Stapps playing? Yep, Chris Stapps is playing. But there is no Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic has to be hurt. Yep, tore his MCL. So he just got Przingis off of the ACL and he tore his MCL. So that's just not good for them. The Spurs, any injuries for the Spurs? It doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. And the Blazers, we just played them and they had a full strength oh, roster. Nurkic is still hurt. I, what I did, I went and did all the real injuries. So some guys are, are hurt in real life. Like the Golden State Warriors, this is perfect because Clay is hurt. Play won't come back for a while, so that's expected. But we do have some surprises. The, the Timberwolves are up high. That's not a surprise of the trade. But then the Suns are really hooping. You know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. Um, and the Clippers are, are awfully low. Out east, the Bucks are one. Raptors are still two. Pistons are four. So the Pistons are hooping. The Pistons are hooping. Philadelphia, they look like they lost Ben Simmons and MB for a while. Um, Let's look at social media. Yeah, it's not saying anything about him having an injury. But I, we did play them, and neither him or, yeah, injury injury report. Yes, yeah, so he was hurt. His left, he had a left shoulder tendonitis. And then MB also was probably hurt too. Sprain left toe, of course. Sounds like MB is an injury. The Hawks. Hawks ain't really on shit. They got fucking Allen Crabstar. That don't really make sense to me. Um, 
And then Cleveland. Cleveland is better than the Miami Heat. So the Miami Heat are having a very... Oh, Jimmy Butler is hurt. Jimmy Butler is hurt. Bruce shoulder. The Miami Heat are having a very disappointing season. And we have their picks. At least their future picks. So... Um, Schroeder, right? Schroeder and Adams. And Roberson. Um... Let's see what we looking like now. As we see some teams, we're about two months in. We're seeing some some rankings. Uh, I mean, some some standings. Let's see if any teams are feeling like they want to make some moves now. Now the Heat are, are giving up James Johnson. They they wasn't doing that at first. Um, yeah. Other than that, nobody else is really. Everybody else is still giving the same offers. Wow. The Rosen is now in the trade talks. This happened in my my career. They, they traded Stephen Adams for the Rosen. Um, and then the, the Raptors are now talking about giving up Cal Lowry, but they're second in the East, so I don't understand that. Let's just take Adams out, right? And let's see what they would be willing to give for just Schroeder. Same offers, same offers, nothing really changed. Yeah, you know what? I want to look at. I want to look at the Pacers, but they won't. Hell no, I'm not giving them a pick. They want to pick. I want to look at some of these teams like um, the Jazz. Like the Jazz would probably benefit from having Dennis Schroeder on their team. I just don't know if I want Dante Exum over those next two years. But let's give Roberson to the Pistons. The Pistons is hooping. The Pistons are like fourth in the East, I think. So we're going to give... Roberson to the Pistons to give them an even bigger push. Um, where they at? Where they at? Where they at, though? Now they want to give us Tony Snell and not... Um, who was it initially? It was Langston Galloway. Tony Snell is a 73, a 28. Roberson is... Okay. That, I mean, it's an improvement. So, well, I'm going to take that pick from now. And we're going to agree to that trade. So now we have Tony Snell. Tony Snell, his expiring contract is with us now. Um, Roberson was good, but Tony Snell is a guy that I'm not going to really feel bad for not giving minutes to. And now we're left to just trying to trade Steven Adams and Dennis Schroeder. Ah. Yeah, Schroeder is just... I don't really even know what to think of Schroeder because... See, I like Damian Jones, but I know once I trade Steven Adams, that spot is going to Justin Patton as far as coming off the bench being that, that young center. And I like what Nerlens Noel is doing for us. The Miami Heat look like they need a spark. The Heat need a spark some way, somehow. Um, let me, I'm not going to do that trade, but I want to just go and see what Drogic is giving them this season. He's giving them 18, 3, and 4. So, I mean, he's, he's doing his part. Um... Who were some other teams we were looking at that wasn't really doing much? The Jazz was solid. Um, the Kings wasn't on shit. The Spurs and the, the uh, Blazers didn't really look that well. Who uh, Schroeder really, really help? The Pacers need a guard. But I don't want Warren for them because I'm sure Warren is hooping for them, right? Yeah, 15. Only 15 and 3, 25% from 3, not really hooping for them. I don't want his ass. Um, do they have anybody else that can make the money match, though? It's my main concern. Do they have? I'm not giving them a first-round pick either. Do they have anybody else that can make the money match besides TJ Warren? They don't. They don't. Yeah, they don't. So, they're not going to be... The Bucks will be cool, but I don't want to bring back George Hill for two years. I'm fine. I'm fine on that. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers, like I said earlier, they have already have the two-point guard situation going on over there. And then the Hawks are kind of out of it. So it wouldn't make sense for the Hawks to bring on Adams and Schroeder. I don't think. I don't think. Or would it? Because, hmm. The, the only thing about the Hawks is I don't really get a young, nothing young from it. I just get expiring contracts i need like a pick or something i need some youth i just got the pick from the pistons though so maybe that'll help me feel good about trading these two and not getting back anything crazy 
Um, this is tough. This is very, very tough because, oh man, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now let's do both of them. Somebody give me something I really, really need. I'm going to go back and look at the standards again and look at teams that could really use Schroeder. They have a good point guard situation and they're number one in the standings. Same thing with a lot of these teams. The Jazz, they 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 playing well. They can probably use because they're sitting outside of home court advantage. So we'll we'll look at the Jazz for Schroeder. We'll also look at the Clippers. I mean, the Clippers need something. Patrick Beverly got hurt. Yeah, Patrick Beverly got hurt. He's out for two to four weeks. Patrick Beverly is hurt, and I got to take away Collison because I think Collison probably... Collison. Collison won't be on that team for long, at least not at the same overall. Portland needs a push, but we don't have anything to give them a push, and San Antonio needs a push. So I'm going to look at San Antonio, man. I'm going to look at San Antonio and think about trying to give them Steven Adams, maybe. Because they're playing, they're not playing out to justify, they're playing Yakapoto. So we can give them, like, Steven Adams, and we can try to get, get some youth. Maybe, like, a, you know what I mean? Derek White or Lonnie Walker. Because they got a lot of guards. They got DeJounte Murray, Lonnie Walker. They got Derek White. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of guards. They got Keldon Johnson and Brent Forms. Forbes. So I mean they got is Rudy get hurt again? Sprain left Achilles day to day. He re-injured this Achilles. They got a they got a um they got a lot of guards. They got a surplus of guards. So we're gonna we're gonna see what their interest is like um in these last couple minutes of the video really really quick before I end it. I'm not sure if a trade will be done, but I just wanna see with, with how much they value Lonnie Walker, DeJounte Murray, and Derek White. Cause they're about to have to pay DeJounte. DeJounte is giving them 10, six and six, a steal, shooting 42% from three. And then Derek White is giving them eight, three and four, or eight, three and five. And he's shooting basically 40% from three. Um, and then Lottie Walker is giving them six points. But he's playing a lot. He's a starting shooting guard. I'm done with San Antonio. I'll be moving on to a new team after the season. So he's not happy. He is not happy. That is very, very good. We're going to try to look into Lonnie Walker and get in Lonnie Walker probably in the next episode because I don't want to rush this process. Or what I'll maybe do is I may do it off camera and then review it with y'all. Um, either way it go, a trade is about to go down. A trade is about to go down. I'm thinking about trying to upgrade them at the center position because Adams and Aldridge in that front court is how they like to play. That's how they was when they had Paul Gasol. Um, and then I might try to try to squeeze in Schroeder in there if I can get one of these guards with it. But I know they really, they probably really like this. And I might go in and try to change Derek White to shooting guard so they can run him. But then, I don't know, because they, they still have Brent Forbes, Marco Bellinelli. Uh, I know DeRozan's on the last year of his deal. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Leave comments. Let me know what y'all thinking. What's going on in y'all heads. What y'all expect. What y'all don't expect. What y'all not liking. What y'all love. Um, what He has a player option. We stand away from that. He'll be back in San Antonio for sure. Um, who's impressing y'all? Who, who um is really like the, the y'all favorite? But yeah, let me know y'all favorite players, cause I know a lot of y'all gonna like Shea, uh, a lot of y'all gonna like Darius Baisley and whatnot. Um, like I said, I may figure a trade out to do off camera. If I do, I'll play a game and put some of that footage at the end of the next video of season. I mean, episode five. Appreciate y'all as always. The big stacks for Zingas. I'm out.